was my car that I first bought in March of 2023. So earlier, a little earlier this year. Three months later, I crashed it. All right, and that's, that's what it looks like now. And I'm going to tell you the whole story behind it and how that happened, why it happened, and um, the whole day, because it was a crazy day. Backstory. Also, say hi to my cameraman, my roommate, my best friend beginning of June when I went to North Carolina. I live in Florida, right? So my sister graduated high school. She was a senior. And so I was like, yo, I'm going to go up. So my roommate and I, Adam, reached 27, who also has a Mustang that looks like this. We both drove our cars up. It was like a six hour drive, seven hour drive. We were just like, we want to do a road trip with our cars. So, you know, why not? And remember that piece of information because I'm going to bring that up later. We're driving up. We drive the whole seven hours, six and a half hours. And it was a good drive. It was a fun drive. It was relaxing. It was, got the windows down, right? Music, just straight on the 95 all the way north, right? And uh, I get there, we celebrate my sister's graduation and whatnot. Stay there a couple days. And then that Sunday rolls around. We're going to leave that like noon-ish. Right? Or like 11 a.m. Before noon, because that was the goal. And as we were leaving, Breeze 27, his car, Red Mustang, was having trouble starting. And it had trouble the day before. And like, the battery was not, I don't know how to explain it. Like, whenever he would gas it, it wouldn't go, and the car would just randomly not go. If that makes sense. And we had that issue bef uh, beforehand, but we thought we fixed it. And so we are like, you know what? We're just going to see. We drive about 15 minutes down the road, and pew, his car doesn't work. And we're like, ah, shit. So we call up the fam. We're like, yo, Adam's car broke down. He's got work tomorrow, so he has to be home. So the plan was, my dad was originally going to come out in like three days to help redo, renovate my room. He was like, yo, I'll just get a U-Haul trailer and bring the car down so that you guys can fix it when, he, when I get here. Three days without a car. I mean, Rich can just use my car. That's not an issue. And so that was the plan. So we're sitting there. My sister's like, yo, I'm with some friends right now. We can, you know, we can stop by, say goodbye or whatever, because we were supposed to go meet up with her and her friends to do um, pickleball. That's where we were going to stop real quick. And then like an hour later, we drive home. And so she's we're like, all right, we'll see you here. We sent pinned our location or whatever, sent our location. And so my dad's already there. We're trying to get the car started. Trying to figure out what we're going to do because it's kind of just stranded in the middle of nowhere. Right? And then my sister comes with her friends. She's My sister's a passenger. Right? And they come down the road and there's a dirt road and like a paved road and we're like on that corner and so they turned down the paved road but it's a tight area you can't do a u-turn and they were gonna do a u-turn so they went down it and then there was this huge curve a huge turn where you couldn't see and they were going down that road and they went past that turn all we heard was a massive boom and breach and i look at each other breach goes did they just crash their car i was like there's no way we waited like 15 seconds no noise and i was like Oh no, let's start going over there. We start walking. I see the dust. I see dust. I'm like, fuck. And so I start sprinting, right? I sprint to the car. Um, and they're like sideways into like a guardrail. And obviously everyone was fine. Uh, my sister like had a, uh, I think she, I don't know, something. She was in a cast for like a week. But we get there and I'm like, holy shit. They just got into a car accident. But all of her friends were fine too. Everyone was good. And so we're like, damn. All right, that's crazy. But luckily we were there and my dad was there. And so we were able to solve that. Uh, so we stayed for like an extra 30 minutes to an hour to help them. And then this is when we we're gonna hit the road. My dad's like, you know what? We're gonna park at this guy's house. We already talked to the guy that lived there. He said, it's cool, leave it here for a day or two, whatever. So Bridge and I hit the road. We're gone, we're out of here. We're about two hours into our drive. We're going, it's a six, you know, six and a half hour drive. Two and a half hours in, I'm like, damn, this is a crazy day. Breach has to leave his car all the way in two states over and he's not gonna have it for a couple days. And my sister just got into a car accident with her friends. That's a lot. So we're going, we stop at an exit, you know, we fill up on gas, whatever. Full tank of gas, by the way, we're driving. It's night, it was sunny out, it was nice and sunny out, no rain. And then we got back on the 95, we started going south, back to my house. Two, two hours, two and a half hours into the trip. We're going and I'm just having a conversation with Breach and then it starts raining. You know, I'm just cruising. I'm doing the speed limit, doing the speed limit. Then it starts raining a lot. And within, you know, 15 seconds of it starting to downpour, hydroplane. Now, for people that don't know what hydroplane means, it means when your car is basically floating on the water underneath it because it can't go through the water fast. It's kind of like sliding on ice, almost. We're facing, this is the road, right? This is straight in front of me. I'm in the far left lane, which is the, the fast lane, what most people say. I'm driving and we instantly turn to the right about like 30 degrees to the right, almost 45, in between 30 and 45 degrees. And we're like still going straight this way, instantly. And I'm like, fuck, right? Cause I was talking to Adam, I was talking to Breach, chatting it up and I, I freaked out. I was like, oh my fucking God. And my dumb ass, trust the fucking brake, <laughs> which was a bad idea. And I cor tried correcting it, right? I was like, you know, I'm not trying to go this way because the cars are right here. It's like a two or three lane highway. And you know, it's, there's not a lot of 
there was traffic. And so I was like, fuck that, I'm not going that way. So I correct it, but I overcorrect it. So now we go past facing straight and now we're facing the guardrail and then oncoming traffic. It all happens in like five seconds, not even five seconds, like blink of an eye. It literally, it felt like a blink of an eye. So I'm turned into it now and the guardrail isn't your traditional guardrail. It's the one with the three iron cables that are about, uh, about that thick, which is definitely above average, holy fuck. But there, I mean, there was three lined up so there's about a foot of uh, space in between you know my car's a little bit shorter and smaller two of the the iron cables go above us so we instantly we kind of like smack into it there's wood pieces and metal pieces that are holding every what maybe like 10 feet eight feet and so we hit like four or five of them fucking like boom, 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 boom and the two two of the three iron cables come up over the car right and so it rips everything well i mean you can see in the photo it rips the front left piece of the car up and i'm going to show another photo right here right here of how close it was to the front windshield like at the bottom where the door's at and so it scrapes everything off the top whatever scrapes shit whatever you, you'll see on these pictures right here except that one cable right that one cable stayed on the side and hugged us in and so while we were hitting those rails the the cables it was kind of like a ditch so the highway we were on was like this the oncoming highway was like this so was, the ditch was kind of like this it was like a dip in and so we were going down the dip in so from our perspective when we turned into it all we saw were oncoming traffic right like the lights kind of coming at us because we're going down at it so adam didn't say a fucking word this entire time except I, me i'm screaming like no 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 <laughs> i'm repeating it the whole time but my heart dude thank to my stomach dude i was i thought we were gonna die right there because it's like you see a three or four lanes of oncoming traffic at you hell fucking no hell no but luckily that one cable pulled us in and the other two cables obviously were on our right side we had one on our left now or two on our right yeah and so obviously we drove right into it and it kind of wished us in and then we stopped and we sat there crazy thing is couple couple details interior no damage no damage on the interior except for the front windshield broke and the back windshield broke and so i'm sitting there the car's still on adam and i look at each other and we're like oh my fucking god so i turn off the car because i'm like i'm not trying to blow up because I, I i've never been in an accident before i don't know what the what happened so i turn it off and like five seconds later it reboots on i'm like what the fuck i go to turn it off turns back on i'm like oh hell no we got to get out of here at this point adam's like i'm calling 911 right now and i try to open my door fuck i tell him try opening your door he can't open his door i'm like oh my god we are stuck in this fucking car luckily the windows worked because the car wouldn't turn off for some reason the window worked i rolled down my window i fucking crawled out that bitch and then i seen the car and i was like for the next five minutes i was screaming many profanity words it was uh a lot of uh fuck damn it a lot of that for a good five minutes <laughs> just repeating it i'm like punching the car punching the wire punching the ground and it's very rare for me to lose my shit like that time goes you know five minutes go by he uh nobody fucking stopped i want to repeat this real quick not one person stopped but i can't blame him because it was raining out it's like what are you gonna do anyways you can't do anything adam crawls out the window and then obviously we you know we're like holy shit we just survived a car accident that's crazy and he said yeah they're on their way whatever firefighters or police whatever he, he called that one and uh after that we kind of just like laughed it off because it's like, what are you, what are you supposed to do, right? So like your, what's the word? Like your fight or flight reaction? Like your coping, right? It's, yeah, 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 yeah. So it was like, for me, like the way to kind of get over the situation is humor. That's how like I've always been with everything. We recorded videos right here. We recorded two YouTube, or we recorded two TikToks. The iconic video. Um, the, me playing my ukulele and uh, the one with the car. Oh, I think, you know, just a little scratch. But I think it'll buff out and he like pans out. You see all that, yeah. Yeah, and then uh, a couple people in my community, and my friend, Keegan, uh, recreated it in GTA because I'm a GTA YouTuber. I'm sitting there and I don't like sitting in the rain. I've never been a big fan of sitting in the rain when I'm wearing, like, when I have shit on me. If I like, if I don't have to get into a car or if I have nothing to worry about, fuck yeah, I'll sit in the rain all day. But if I'm like at the beach and I need to get to the car and it starts raining, I'm like, nah, I'm not trying to get in a car soaking wet. That's uncomfortable. Firefighters show up and they come up to us like, yo, you good? I'm like, yeah, you need an ambulance? No. You sure? No. I mean, yeah. 
<laughs> they actually reached the same thing. And then they went inside their, uh, they set up cones and then they sat inside their, uh, their firefighter truck, fire trucks. So we're sitting there and another 30 minutes goes by. Like when they get there, they're like, yo, call your insurance. I'm like, that's a great fucking idea, actually. And so I called to make a claim, whatever. And I'm like, yeah, I'm in, I'm like far away from where I was supposed to go and far away from where I came from and whatever. And they're like, yeah, we got a tow truck, blah, blah. And it was so fucking complicated. But they figured it out, so thank God. And I'm like, you know, what the fuck do I do here? But I realized, you know, insurance is gonna cover you. I, I got the best that I could for the insurance. I, I made sure to prioritize that. So I'm sit standing there about an hour. I already called my dad as well and my parents. I told him like, yo, I got in a car crash. <laughs> my car is fucked. Um, I told my dad to come pick me up because I wanted my mom to stay with my family and shit like that. My dad drives the two hours, W dad moment. And so it's about an hour, hour and a quarter of us standing out in the rain still. It's still downpour. It's downpour this entire time. It, it continues to downpour the whole time. Then the cop shows up. And I'm like, oh shit. And let me tell you, you know, wasn't the nicest cop. Let's be, let's be real. All right. She rolls in. She's like maybe she. I think she was said she was like four years old and me, three years old. So she's like 25, 24. Immediately she pops up. She's like, how fast were you going? I'm okay. Thanks for asking. And I tell her, you know, I'm like, yeah, I was going, to, I was going to speed limit. I was the speed, the flow of traffic. She's like, okay. And then you know, gets back in her car after that. I need your license, your registration, all that shit. I'm like, okay, let me get that. Which I mean, I guess makes sense because you need to document all this shit, right? So I get my license, my registration, everything out of the car, and I hand it to her. I'm like, hey, is there anywhere I could sit to finish this phone call with? I was still stuck on hold with them because they couldn't find a, a towing company. I was like, can I sit in your car? She doesn't say anything. She just goes, I'm like, thanks dude. Appreciate it. Thank you. So I'm standing out there more longer. Um, I didn't bring a hoodie because I didn't expect to be sitting in the fucking rain. So I was wearing a tank top, bro. And you saw that in the video too. I'm shivering, bro. It's so cold. Eventually, you know, she's like, okay, I need more information from you. You can get in the car. I'm like, thank you. Sitting out here for fucking two hours, right? My dad's almost there. But uh, so I'm sitting in her car with her, same with Adam. And so she was asking like what we were doing up here or like, what, where were we going? Where, where did we come from? All that good stuff, you know, the normal cop stuff. Um, I told her, I was like, yeah, I went to my sister's graduation up here. Uh, she's like, drove that car for seven hours straight. Took it on a road trip. Yeah, we both took our cars. He has a nice car too. I didn't want to say anything back to her because I was like, my main priority was not to get on a cop's bad side, right? Especially a trooper, where they could just give you fucking a shit ton of tickets for no reason. And she's like, oh, so you just went up to show off your car, huh? In my head. Sister's fucking graduation. I was like, in my head, I wanted to say something, but I was like, no. So I made a split second decision. I just said, yeah. I was like, yeah, I just, yeah, that's what I'm doing. In reality. My family wanted to see my fucking car. Two, why can't I have nice things? I just wanted to drive, uh, do a road trip with my roommate, with our nice cars and enjoy the nice ride, right? Car people understand. Car people. You fucking understand me, all right? It's a seven hour drive. Yeah, sure, you're putting miles on your car, but that's the fucking point. And then she was like trying to teach me a lesson because she was like, yeah, I mean, you gotta be careful in the rain. I've seen people die. You know, I've gotten to an accident similar to this and blah, blah, blah. And I was so dumb at the time. And I was like, what you trying to say about me, young blood? And then she asks us what we do for work and shit. And I was like, ah, oh, here we go. I was like, I already know if she's gonna be a dick about my car, she's gonna be even worse about my job. I told her I'm a YouTuber. And she's like, oh, what do you do? And I was like, yeah, I would just do gaming content, like GTRP. She's like, oh yeah, I've heard about that. Not not my thing though, definitely not. And then she tells me, you know, right at the end, she's like, all right, well, I'm writing you a ticket. And I'm like, uh, she wrote me for, correct me what it is, but it was unsafe operation of a vehicle or unable to operate a vehicle in weather conditions can you give me the exact of what that is and say it right next to the mic so the viewers here it? it was south carolina something with unsafe i know it said unsafe in it you know what i have the ticket let me grab it driving vehicle too fast for conditions is what it says the violation right here so basically what it is i'll explain it to you guys right now because i was Crazy. confused at first so basically what it means like if there's extreme weather like really extreme which is what it was well not when i crashed it was like a little bit like we barely just started it as whatever if you're going five under the speed limit you can still be wrote a ticket for it because of weather conditions if you hydroplane is what it was explained to me i was going too fast for conditions i guess whatever i mean but you got to account for the car it's super light it's wider the tires are wider so It'd be easier to hydro. Whatever. She's just being a dick about it. Whatever. It's two points on my record and then a fine. I hired an attorney, obviously, to uh, get that off. And the court, the court is, we're still figuring that out. So I'll post what the verdict is on my, on my story on Instagram. That happens. My, uh, my dad shows up right as the tow truck shows up. Fire, leave, cop stays. So, or the, the guy, the tow truck guy, amazing, super nice guy. Pulled my car out, whatever, put it on the thing. We gathered all my shit out of the car. We couldn't get to the stuff in the trunk because it was like, you just physically couldn't. So that, 
they had a whole it got back to my parents house so we decided to tow it to my parents house because it would have been a harder drive to take it to florida and it would cost a lot more because it's five dollars a mile luckily my insurance took care of most of that thank you get to my parents house i'm like okay i have to stay here now for extra days we're there for a couple days i'm talking to insurance every single day 24 7 about the whole thing thank god they were super nice about it i was you know they, they set me up they made sure i was all good like three days go by uh or it's like the yeah the third day so i think it happened on sundays when the crash wednesday so we had monday and tuesday talking to them wednesday morning they came picked up the car or whatever the paperwork whatever um and then my dad was supposed to come down anyways right on wednesday we towed breach's car down to florida and so you know i don't i don't know if they're gonna total it or not right because they they have a whole like system they gotta go through so a week goes by and they like yo your car's totaled, but they paid off my entire car. So everything that I paid for the car, they paid. And then whatever I owed on the car, they paid that as well. So I got fully reimbursed by the by Geico. Thank you. I have the decision. I have a decision to make. Do I go about do I go out and buy another car? As you can see, I decided to get another one. <laughs> so this one, actually an upgrade, right? So obviously it was a little bit more, so I had to pay extra. The previous car, I'm gonna put on the or Dom my sorry. Rob, my editor, is going to put on the screen right here what the old car was. It was a 2022 C8 3LT uh, with the Z51 performance package. The one I got now, or so that one also had 18,000 miles on it when I bought it. And then I got this new one is a 2023, so a year newer. Same C8, 3LT as well. Z51 performance package as well. But had 80 miles on it pre-owned, certified pre-owned. So somebody bought it in an auction or whatever. So I got that 81 miles on it or something like that. That was my whole experience with the vehicle in the car accident. And that lasted a minute because I got the new car um, a week and a half after that, almost two weeks. I think it was like, yeah, it was like 11 days after the, uh, the accident is when I bought the new car. But I want to do more car vlogs. So comment like car vlog ideas, I guess, in the comment. I don't, I don't know what to do with my car. What, what the fuck am I supposed to do? I'm gonna, I have a whole bunch of upgrades I wanna do to the car. Um, I guess I'll vlog those. He will vlog those for me. Um, yeah, if you guys want more stories as well, I got plenty of fucking stories. Uh, so comment some like genres below, what stories you want me to tell, and I'll tell some more fucking stories. And uh, shout out to my editor, because this is a 30 minute story I had, to t uh, I had to say, and he has to cut it down to like 12 minutes, 15 minutes. Good luck, good luck. All right, like and subscribe or I'll fuck your mom. What?